Hi, my name is Danica Cooley from Thinking Kids Press. Um, the goal of Thinking Kids Press is to equip you to teach the Bible and Christian history to your kids. So over at thinkingkidspress.com, you'll find um, all the resources that we have available for you to download, um, just to be able to uh, teach the Bible and Christian history of Bible studies, uh, book discussion guides, uh, fun crafts, all kinds of stuff. Um, Bible memory verse cards, which is what we're going to talk about today. Um, and then Bible Road Trip, which is our premier product. It's um, I wrote Bible Road Trip to take your family through the Bible in three years. Um, and it's 32 weeks a year, which is based on a homeschool or a school schedule. Um, if you want, you can use it year round, and a lot of people do um, adopt it that way and then just go through it over and over again. I think we've gone through three or four times as a family, and it's just been amazing. My kids know the Bible. Um, so Bible Road Trip, in addition to reading through the Bible, um, your family will have age-appropriate resources to um, learn more about the books of the Bible that you're reading, um, what was going on at the time. Um, for dialectic, there's a timeline. Um, so there's just some, some really cool stuff with that learning to pray for the nations, which is sneaky geography, in addition to being something that's really important to do. Um, and then there's notebooking and Bible memory. I think Bible memory is so important. And one of the things that we have available that goes with the Bible um, road trip program is memory verse cards that you can get that are already um, printed out for you that go with the program. And I think that this is really helpful. For me, it was really helpful. I actually developed these because we were having a hard time just making sure that we were opening up the Bible and memory, my, memorizing the verses. We were just busy. And these are already um, laid out for you each week. They're, they're um, related to the reading that you've done that week or the themes in the reading. Like They're not always um, from Nehemiah, say, if you were reading Nehemiah but they relate to the themes that are in Nehemiah that you've read about. Um, and they're fun because they're already laid out. One of the things we do, and I'll show you these, is um, I make sure that um, each line is in the beat that will help your kids learn to memorize them. So we'll talk about that in a second. You can also find um, information over at thinkingkidsblog.org. We have all our content there. Um, I have articles for you on parenting, on homeschooling, um, Bible crafts, uh, roundups of um, great books about the Bible and Christian history that have come out that your kids are going to love. Um, it, you know, we talk about them by age. Um, I have book reviews. So there's all kinds of great stuff um, over there and then thinkingkidspress.com. Okay, let's take a look at these Bible memory verse cards. Okay, um, we are going to talk about, real quick, I'm going to show you the Bible Road Trip um, Bible Memory Verse Cards. These, this is just a fun box project that we did as an art project when my kids were younger. We took different um, types of cloth and made landscapes on top of a box. And first, you can see we painted the sides of the box. And my kids are boys. So one chose gold and one chose silver, and there was nothing very exciting about the sides, but for them, that was awesome. And then um, and then they made little landscapes. And then I just used um, shellac to put over the top. So they've had these for years. Oh, you can see he put gold on the inside. Um, okay, so this is his box. So these are for year two. Um, and this is for the dialectic level. Now, if you're at the lower grammar, upper grammar, um, preschool, kindergarten, or rhetoric level, you're going to have um, a different amount of Bible memory each week, and um, you're going to have maybe shorter verses or longer, um, but this is for dialectic, and I just thought I'd show it to you. So it's color-coded. This is your two week one, and it's gold, um, and you just have a picture on the first week. So my kids can take their, let's see, all of these are for, oh, these are rhetoric, sorry. So this is for high school. So my boys are in high school 
and they can take these cards and spend the week working on learning their memory verses and then can just hand me the card and I'm able to hold it and they can recite to me, which works out really well for us. Um, and they generally tend to do it while I'm cooking dinner. So as long as I don't cut off my little fingers, everything's good. Um, and then these are divided into beats. So into phrases that make sense for your child to memorize. Your word is a lamp to my feet and the beat and a light to my path. So they can work on learning each beat and they can actually see this in their little heads. So for rhetoric and dialectic, you're gonna have longer verses like this. Um, for lower grammar, upper grammar, and obviously preschool and kindergarten, you're not gonna have the same number of verses or the same um, degree of memorization. So again, and then for dialectic and rhetoric, I think one of the fun things the program does is again this is year two but in year one they're going to memorize the first four chapters of Romans and by the time your child finishes um, the dialectic or the rhetoric program for Bible Road Trip in three years they will have memorized 12 chapters of Romans um, so for my kids in high school those 12 chapters of Romans are um, review and a number of these verses are review but then a lot of times like this is Psalm 19, seven through nine. So they may have memorized like the first two verses of this and not the third. Um, and then high school, they'll add the third. So again, this is week one. Here's week two. Again, it's color coded um, and they can just grab their verses for that week and in their spare time work on memorizing um, if we get to Friday and I haven't heard any verses, I will say to them, I need to hear your verses and they'll go memorize them. So um, now I want to talk about what kind of verses we're memorizing. Let's see if this, yeah, this is a good week to do this. Um, so Job has some amazing, amazing verses to memorize. It also has some amazing themes. Um, God is sovereign. The Redeemer's coming. Um, and, and bringing our concerns to God about our situation and not sinning as we do so, right? So here, Job 19 through 25, for I know that my Redeemer lives and at, at the last he will stand upon the earth, right? And then Job 10, 11 through 13, you clothed me with skin and flesh and knit me together with bones and sinew. You have granted me life and steadfast love and your care has preserved my spirit. Yet these things you hid in your heart, I know that was your purpose. So here's something about God and something about the way that he has planned for us. Here is a verse about God's great plan for salvation for us. So these and about Jesus. So these are two of the major themes of the Bible, who God is and um, his plan for salvation. So. Here we go. Then Job arose and tore his robe and shaved his head and fell on the ground and worshiped. And he said, Naked I come from my mother's womb and naked I shall return. The Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In all this, Job did not sin or charge God with wrong. So another one of the themes of the Bible is um, God, Jesus' commands for his followers. Well, in the Old Testament, we look at how um, followers are re to relate to, to God and how Job was in pain. Yet, in the midst of all this, he worshipped God, right? He fell on the ground and worshipped, and he said, God is sovereign, and it's up to the Lord how he treats me. So, he didn't sin. So, this is a way of looking at God's commands for his followers. And then... See, you'll see, okay, so this is part of Romans with the dialectic and the rhetoric program where the kids are just memorizing the first 12 chapters of Romans, which is an amazing theological book. Um, but you'll see that this is from James. As an example of suffering and patience, brothers, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. Behold, we consider those blessed who remain steadfast. You have heard of the steadfastness of Job, and you have seen the purpose of the Lord, how the Lord is compassionate and merciful. So again, here you're learning about who God is 
and how we are to live for Jesus. So um, two of the major themes of the Bible, but you're also looking at the theme of Job, how to handle suffering, that the Lord is sovereign in our lives. He has ordained what we go through. And this is how we are to handle suffering. Um, and this is how Job did. So even though James isn't from Job, your kids are going to memorize that and it will mean something to them. Okay, so again, you have verses from books that are not the ones you're studying, but they relate to the main theme of the book or they directly reference the book. And um, again, for lower grammar, upper grammar, preschool, kindergarten, you're going to have less verses. But all of these are um, color-coded, at the beginning of each week, you have one of those great pictures that comes straight out of um, our amazing art history that we have. Um, so this is a picture of David. Um, I don't remember who did it, but um, they relate to each week of the artwork that is in the Bible Road Trip Notebooking Journal. So you can look in the Notebooking Journal and see who did it. Um, so yeah, and I have found that having these cards available means that our Bible memory gets done because like you, we're busy and um, this makes it easy for my kids. Um, it makes it fun. And again, I can be cooking dinner and they can bring me their cards and hand them to me and I can listen to them say their memory verses and it's right there. And then I hand them back and I say what a great job they did. Um, and when they were younger, we had rewards for memorizing, and now they just, it's part of their daily um, habit. So those are the memory verse cards.